Oh, cool, it's a super. Actually, I'm the key maker. Don't worry, you'll be inside in just a moment. Awesome, thanks. What's happening, huh? Welcome to the stream, one and all. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to continue on with uh, Metroid Dread from where I left off yesterday. I don't think you would have seen it, Paul. But hey, Paul, welcome in. PH Maverick Video Games, welcome. Chuck your link in chat, dude. And Paul, I can receive stars now. And I can raid people. And you're on my raid list, buddy. And I'm glad that you actually noticed that it was a Magmore Caverns remix. And a Gerardo, good to see you, man. Mr. 305 Gaming in, in the house. If you guys don't mind, like and share the stream. If you're new here, hit that follow button or type exclamation point photo play in the comment section. And uh, we are going to enjoy for the next three to three and a half hours. We're gonna we're gonna enjoy this awesome game of the year candidate right here. And uh, if you have friends who like Metroid, tag them in also. I want to try to reach as many people as I can. I haven't got very far in the game, but you saw what I said about... Yeah, 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 dude. I saw what you said. I'm worried, though. Uh, if you're going to be in here watching me play, is that going to be potentially spoilers for you? Because I don't want to spoil too much, if that makes sense, dude. I just don't... I'd... I don't want to feel like I'm. I don't want to feel like I'm spoiling anything for you by you watching me play. But then again, you may actually get you. You, you may learn a couple of uh, of the Serdash strats. And a, Paul, thank you for sharing your page, dude. He, Paul is a hardworking streamer. I definitely recommend him. I recommend him to one and all, man. He play. He plays a bit of everything. He plays shmups. He plays Bullet Hell. He plays Metroidvania, as well as like mainstream Nintendo titles. And uh, all around is a good dude. Is is, is one of my uh, he's one of my good friends in the community. He is also another. He is also another person who motivated me to come back, and I'm glad that I did. So thank you very much, Mr. Paul Humphreys. Yeah, so how's everyone doing? How's everyone doing today? I know it's like... It's Saturday? It, no, no, it's Saturday for me. It's Friday for you guys. And this is going to be a bit troublesome. So I've not really gone that far into this area. Just, you know, whoa! Right, can I counterattack you? Spark. Get out of here. And uh, tech, when you, <laughs> at this point of the game, every enemy is now, like, you know, infected by X. Don't go, just about to go have dinner soon. You're gonna have chicken with mashed potatoes, sounds, sounds good, man. You still streaming, Gerardo? I haven't seen, I, I, I do apologize if I haven't uh, been, if you have and I haven't been in your stream for a while, man. Just, oh, that's good, man. That's good. Feel free to plug your channel in here, dude. Anyone, any, any people who are streamers can plug their channel in here. Like, once per stream. Yeah, it's a standard, standard operating procedure. Because a lot of my friends are like small, low streamers, and it's hard, it's hard getting yourself out there. So, yeah. I consider my, uh, my, I consider this channel, uh, you know, a buddy channel to help out the other stream, help out other, other existing streamers and potentially new worst streamers, if that makes sense. And uh, Gerardo, thank you for the plug, man. Go on, you, go on, you put in your Twitch, your, tw your Twitch, uh, your Twitch out there as well as your Facebook uh, page out there. Thank you. You've been absent from streams because I'm gonna play this game on my own, but I wanted to support with watch time and chat without watching. Now you're. Indirect and encouraging you to get back in the streaming again. 
you had a schedule, but it, it, you, you were burnt out. Appreciate all your good words about my page. Dude, I promote all my friends. Don't consider it selfish promotion. I promote all my but I promote all my friends. You're one of the you're one of the key influences that made me want to come back and do this, man. So you deserve a pat on the back. Oh no 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 no! God damn! You motivated me to come back, man. You're you're one of the big key influences that made me want to uh, stream again. So uh, come on. Yeah, it's the same. That's fair enough, dude. Considering I decided to rebrand myself and repackage myself as a diff as a as a it, this, this page is new. I it's like a new identity. I'm still sir ass, but you know I wanted to do things a little. I wanted to do things differently this time. And plus, you know, I I my love for streaming has returned. And we got to thank guys like Paul. We got to thank guys like Jeremy at BT Tag. And I pretty much thank everyone who's been a friend to me when, when I did have my three month break. It's just all that camaraderie and support that made, really made me want to come back. And uh, originally I wasn't going to buy the OLED Switch, but since I decided to come back to streaming, I'm like, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, right? I'm going to have a special, uh, uh, you know, a top of the line console because I, be I believe it would be cool for streaming. And I, don't mind I didn't mind investing the $530 I spent. It's actually, I think in time it will be a really good investment and it will pay for itself. <laughs> yeah, you do have games to finish, yes. Yeah, <laughs> you're, not, you're not wrong there, buddy. And you know that, you know that, you know for that, Gerardo? Let's get, let's, uh, let's, uh, do some, gr get the heavy grunts in here. Oh, wait, it's a BT tag raid. Oh, everybody's from Jeremy Streamers in here. I was going to give him a har, har, har for uh, uh, Gerardo, but I'm going to have to get around to do that. <laughs> and, uh, Meg, Agent Forshee, welcome in. It's a BT tag raid. Thank you all for coming in. Come and watch me get my ass kicked by the Emmys repeatedly. Because the Emmy, the Emmy ceasefire has been hold, has been uh, terminated. Because our Chozo friend managed to get himself killed and overtaken by the ex parasite. And Melissa, thank you for coming in. How you doing? Thank you for. Co I appreciate you coming to uh, Game of Vision. Welcome. I do encourage you guys to like and share share the stream. It'll help me get out out to more people. Oh uh, no, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, he stunned me. <laughs> I actually managed to finally get a parry. Oh no. Oh, man, this guy's rough. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm doing good, uh, Melissa. I did. I don't know if you got my message. I asked if you wanted to uh, come on board and be a moderator at Game of Vision. Thanks for being one of many to wish me a happy birthday on your birthday. No worries, dude. I wish all my friends happy birthday. I wish everybody a happy birthday. Good to see you on the screen again. It's good to have everybody here. It's good to have everyone come in and just watch me try to play a video again. And I don't think you realize this, Melissa. The BT Tag community was the single biggest entity that made me want to come back to uh, to streaming. Just the camaraderie in the in the uh, commu in the BT tag community, kind of like yeah, you know, it got it got me thinking. Hmm, I still have uh, plenty to give in the tank, so I'm going to I'm going to stream my little heart out because I I like the camaraderie, I like the friendships. I've got a lot of friendships in that community. Oh, it's all right, Melissa. It's all good. I know you ha you've had stuff going on. And just remember, if you need someone to vent to or to talk to, or you need another opinion, my inbox is always open to you. Been a while since I've been able to do this. Andre! 100 stars, buddy. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> I'm going to give you this... I'm going to give you this new screen I made. 
It's really cool. Don't tell Jose. Thank you for the 100 stars, Andre. I really appreciate that, man. That's good support. I, pre I appreciate ev everyone coming in and showing love and support. It's pretty much, you know, the, 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 the friendships I've made through the BT Tag community as well as the other people in just in general, Facebook gaming, the Facebook gaming mega community as a whole. I just wanted to give back. I took a break. It did me the world of good. And like, Jeremy and his team... And everyone in the BT Tag community was the single biggest force that drove me to want to come back. So I, it, it was, it's my pleasure to join your Patreon and help, guys. I owe, I just want to give back for everything you guys give me. Oh my god, how am I going to get up by this guy? Oh, this guy's a fish. Gonna make you a star screen someday. No worries, dude. You don't have to. Oh, nice here. Lips are sealed. I don't even know if Jose's in here. I don't know if he made it in here from the raid or not. But uh, that that was the new screen I was I kind of teased teased to him on on Jeremy's stream. So, I learned something yesterday, well, yesterday after the stream, I learned something new. Those, those spheres in the water there, you can use them for a particular upgrade to do a, a special jump in water. It's like, it's, it's something, I think it's, it's called, I think the spin boost, I think, yeah. I am immortal! I got mauled by the Emmy and I'm back! 11.34! Thank you very much, Paul, for the 1,134 stars. That is awesome, dude! Sam's not angry. <laughs> Agent Kent reporting for duty. Jose is currently eating with family. Oh, that's alright, that's cool. Uh, I'm not angry, I promise. <laughs> so, Agent Kent, welcome. And, uh, Samantha! For the 1134 stars that Paul sent through, I'm going to give him two screens. The feeling of, of being there, of walking the streets of the future, is really going to be breathtaking. You're breathtaking. <laughs> You're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. Oh, sir. I saw it. Some angry member of the kitchen staff. Did you not tip them? Oh, the terrorists, they ran that way. It was a run by fruiting. I'll get them, sir. Don't worry. So, Paul, thank you for the stars, buddy. I appreciate it, man. All the, all the support is great, gratefully appreciated. I, 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 I can't continue to say enough times that I am so happy to be back doing this once again. And having you all come in and watch me do <laughs> do my own unique brand of entertainment. Oh, by the way, flat, flash shift is your best friend. <laughs> it's your best friend. That's all I'm gonna say. Flash shift is my best friend right now, especially when I'm trying to get away from enemies. Hey Debbie, how you going? Run by fr fruiting in Jose's honor. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a run by fruiting. The control in this game is amazing. Yes, and is very responsive and very intuitive. That's that's a big selling point for this man. 
<laughs> Be Vinny, what's up, my man? How you doing, homeboy? Thanks for coming in. Feel free to plug your channel, Vinny. Go check out my boy Vinny Sage on Twitch. If you like games like Spider-Man, Mars Morales, games like Horizon Zero Dawn, or multiplayer games like Pokemon Unite, just to name a couple, just to name some, he is the guy to watch, man. And flat out, I'm just trying to, also trying to convince him to uh, get Metroid Dread ASAP. <laughs> doing great, that's good. Mel, hello, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Mel, plug your uh, stream stream channel in here. You have my permission, girly. It's good to see you. Always happy to have a unicorn in my chat. Doing, a good, doing good, just slaving away at work. That's cool, man. Hopefully you don't have any issues with that troublesome guy that gave you uh, trouble yesterday. <laughs> All the stars are coming out today. All the stars are here. <clears throat> I don't even know what I did to disturb all, to deserve all this uh, superstar treatment. But nonetheless, it's uh, definitely appreciated. Boring, boring, boring. Uh, no, we can't go this way. Digital Unicorn Gaming sneaks back in the sneaks back in the corner. You can stay in, in center stage. Never thought about buying this, but I never played a Metroid. You should so get this, Franco. Either either buy this or play Super Metroid first. I strongly recommend. Strongly recommend it, dude. Now we got spin boost. Now this is a handy little upgrade. And Vinny, thanks for plugging your channel, dude. Appreciate you coming in, dude. So how you doing, Debbie? <laughs> nope, that's good, man. That's good. That's good. He's not giving you any trouble. I gotta see what this message is because I got just got inboxed. Oh, why am I off the... Why did the stream cancel out on my phone? Jesus Christ. Come on, work properly, phone. You've been a loyal servant so far. Yeah, no butts in the corner, Mel. You got, you're pretty much sound stage. Anytime you're in, in watching... In on Gamer Vision, you are part of the... You're part of the central stage. <laughs> I can't take my butt off, though. Okay. You do well, good... That's good, Debbie. Now, this upgrade... Spin boost... Pretty much in a nutshell, when you're jumping in the air and you and you do uh, it's Samus's spin animation, you can do another jump in midair like this. It's like between regular jumping and space jump, so it's like it, it's like a mix of both, but it's like in the middle somewhere. Eat phone time, Paul. <laughs> Okay, so we got spin ball. So those little s spheres there are pretty much a guy telling you, "Hey, there's a skill that you can, you can uh, make use of here." Even though spin jump doesn't work well underwater before you get gravity suit, it still works with in conjunction to those spheres you see on the screen. No promises. <laughs> Eric, how you doing, man? Thanks for coming in. And also, if, guys, if you're enjoying the stream, please give give the stream a like and uh, share it out. And if you're new new to uh, my brand of entertainment, feel free to hit that follow button or type exclamation point notify in chat so you are guaranteed the notifications. We're gonna make use of this spin boost properly. We're gonna make proper use of it. Here we go, hello! 
You, sir, are scary. That, the, that Seeing that Chozo come out like that would be enough to, like, oh my god, damn. These Chozo fights definitely keep you on your toes. So, Eric, how you doing, buddy? Phase two, let's go. Ah! Oh, he's gonna drop. Oh no. I'm still trying to be for me. I'm still trying to do a foolproof strat for killing these uh, Chozo Xs. They are mean, dude. They're vicious. Oh, crap. And, uh, thank you for the follow, Debbie. I appreciate it. Welcome to Gamer Vision. Glad to have you here. Keep from <laughs> Mel from getting hit by flying phones, but you're still in her pants. <laughs> Andre, thank you for the 12 days, man. Appreciate it. How you doing today, Eric? I was gonna need a belt. <laughs> I would have to agree. Or either a belt or suspenders. close yeah Mel's gonna need a chastity belt at this rate yeah you know what <laughs> you can go to BC you can go to uh, BC pennies look behind the toasters left of the refrigerators and the uh... yeah look near the toasters just ahead of the uh, kitchenware appliances <laughs> Doing good. I'm doing good, man. I'm, I'm I'm having a lot of fun with this, man. This game is too fun. I'm too addicted, man. Oh. I love how you can use the, the flash ship like three times in quick succession. It's a nice like, quality of life feature. It's your best, it's pretty much your best friend when, when you have to deal with the remaining enemies. It, I missed. Please. Oh, <laughs> I deserve that. I deserve that. I have no one to blame but myself. <laughs> you understood that reference? <laughs> Carefully chatting while uh, avoiding the screen, but it sounds awesome. 
That's alright, Paul. Like, when you when you get to the particular area of the game I'm in, you can you, you can always look this up on YouTube, because I've got a VOD playlist on YouTube with all the streams that I do. So, if you ever get stuck at any point, you can pretty much use my streams as a reference guide for when you're stuck. And who knows, you might find time, you might find time saves or improvements that I can learn from your example. It's too tempting to watch, man. I know, I know. It's too tempting to watch. been paying attention. Sorry, Treasure Rex. You are a worthy adversary. Oh, I can't believe I touched off the black shoes again. That is crazy, man. That's crazy. And welcome to anyone who's come in. Oh, Winfield, welcome in, dude. Welcome to Gamer Vision. How you doing, man? Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm getting my buck. I'm getting my ass handed to me by a uh, very formidable Chose robot Chozo soldier. X. Finally made it. I'm glad you're here, man. Oh no! When he goes to make that jump, I should I should be I just should be paying attention. Justice. Maybe I shouldn't be watching the spoilers. Nick Force Assemble? Thanks, thanks Debbie, I appreciate it. I should be going you should be going to play this now. <laughs> Don't worry, uh Winfield, it's only spoilers if you it's only spoil <laughs> if you're open minded to watching someone play the game, you're gonna see what you're in for. Because no two, no two gamers will approach this game the same way. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a better understanding for his, uh, the RNG. Get out of here. Down you go. 
I don't have a horn. <laughs> Hardcore gamers assemble. Hey, didn't want to feel left out. Hey, we're all gamers here, man. We all, we all, we all hold controllers no matter what type. We all bleed the same color. We all exude the same passion. We're here for the games, man. Does this make you a woman? No, this makes me a mix of both. <laughs> Got a friend on the way over, great hangout. Good luck, see you next mission. No worries, Paul, you have a good one, man. Go check out PH Maverick Video Games on Facebook. Great streamer. All around good guy. Go check him out. You, you will not be disappointed. <laughs> All right. GG, thanks. Thanks, Eric. Let's see, let's see what's behind door number one. Wait, wait, wait. Wrong way. Wrong way. How could you go the wrong way? Alright. Now we're going to definitely be able to make use of this. my footing. Well, with all the shoutouts, I should get the, get the stream going soon. Yeah, you should, man. Come on back. We miss you. Y'all help me. I'm about to go fucking nuts on people. Ooh, I'm sorry. That's gonna suck. What are they doing this time, Megan? Can't get rid of these things just yet. Because we're gonna need ice missiles. No! Uh, no, 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 no. Oh my god. That was so close. Oh no. A little too late. A little too late on that flash shift. There we go. Would you like a weasel? We should make attack weasels, Andre. We should get some weasels and train them to be like, you know how you get like your personal IC dogs and icing dogs and whatnot. We should make like uh, fighter weasels. Oh no 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 no! no. I messed up. I'm still trying to get the parry down. How about a ferret? <laughs> We should make attack ferrets and attack weasels. That would be that would be awesome, dude. And uh, I'm doing, as I said, doing very well, Debbie. I'm happy that you're here. And uh, let's see who else we got here. Now, and also I get a, I get a link, I, I'm gonna have a new fan in a moment, I'm just gonna have to link them the stream. Cause that, obviously some people hear about me through other people. So now that, that this particular person is going to bear witness to what I'm capable of. Now, I mean, yeah, this one, this one shoots, shoots stuff at me dude. Hate to death, hate to know the death of count for people's games. Sam, I'm not specifying a number. If I had to specify a number, it would be between 1 and 64,207. 
<laughs> Anna Ginger, hello, good to see you. Oh, oh, what is this? OG, what's going on, dude? Thanks for coming in. Thank you for the 200 stars, buddy. Appreciate that very much. How are you doing today, sir? Uh, this is going out to you. Those 200 stars are going to go towards upgrades. Are you, fellas? It's him. The anomaly. Do we proceed? Yes. He is still only human. <laughs> And, uh, as expected. <laughs> what else have I missed in chat? What have I missed? So, Ginger, hello, through uh, James's phone. I mean, they're close. Uh, they're a close relative to your weasels. Okay, fair enough. Were you talking about actual ferrets, or... I think they're talking about actual ferrets. I don't know for sure. And a Christian, welcome into the Gamer Vision, dude. How you doing? Good to see you, man. Happy to have you come on through. How have you been, buddy? Oh my god, this is gonna be rough. Oh, shoots a projectile. And I bully him underwater. Oh no, I failed. I can't even roundhouse kick him to the face. <laughs> Metro Dre, aka Samus Hunts again. Yep. Oh god, no, 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 no. Alright, can I can I bully him? <laughs> Get bullied, Emmy. Oh, no, 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 no. Not cool. Hate those projectiles, man. Oh. How's Code Cross? <laughs> How are we doing? Casper, welcome in. Thanks for coming in. Welcome to Gamer Vision. Feel free to like, like, like the stream, share the stream, and hit that follow button or type exclamation point. Notifying chat. Everyone give uh, Casper a, a warm Game of Vision welcome. She is a brand new viewer. <laughs> and uh, Christian, thanks for the clip, man. How you been, Christian? Everybody, you talking to me? <laughs> Occasionally, I think that when it comes to Emmys, help me down. It's like taxi driver Emmys. And, uh, Winfield, thanks for the notify, man. Appreciate it, dude. Get... <laughs> Christian, we, got, we, got, we, we should get in talks, man, and making the Taxi Driver Emmy as a meme. A meme based on the Emmy and Taxi Driver. Then you take the Emmy down like De Niro. <laughs> Yes! Yes! I like where that- where the meme is going. Talking to me. Oh damn it! Failed. Failed. <laughs> Hashtag Emmy memes. Yes, we're gonna make it. We are going to make an Emmy meme. In the cons, in the context of Robert De Niro and Taxi Driver, it's a must-have. Trust me, it's a must-have. Uh, 
Oh no. Ah, uh, oh, oh, damn, damn, damn. Fuck me off the perch. If I keep getting, getting caught by the enemies, that's my own fault. Or, no what else I just thought of in regards to Emmys grabbing Samus? Get get a shot of an Emmy grabbing Samus and literally sticking it, sticking, uh, sticking it here. Emmys forcing COVID vaccinations. <laughs> Debbie, thanks for the notify, I appreciate it. We could associate uh, Samus getting got by the Gemi, by the Emmy with uh, COVID. <laughs> this is how you're gonna have to take COVID shot, Samus. Gotta protect, gotta protect our bounty, bounty hunters from COVID. No, 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 Oh my god, I screwed up again. Oh, no, 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 no. Very rare I get the fly kick. Cool, you're all set. That's awesome. I don't care how many times times this fool kills me. Aha! There's what we need right there. And by the way, guys, I've also put up a post on the channel yet, uh, uh, last night, giving you guys a choice, giving you guys like doing like a people's choice thing where. I've chose five games. I've, made, I've put five games for you guys to choose from for what will be offici the, officially the next game I'll do like a full Let's Play uh, series of. So pretty much what I've put there in, uh, to choose from is Zelda Breath of the Wild, Dark Souls Remastered on PS5, um, what else? Uh... Diablo 2 Resurrected on PS5. And Spider-Man Miles Morales on PS5. Oh, I almost forgot. And Dragon Ball Z Kakarot on Switch. With, but with uh, DLCs. Must be the uh, the Android version of Chuck Norris. <laughs> Occasionally, I also think of a fist uh, a fistful of dollars. Uh, they enters my head. Yeah, I was thinking about Kakarot. Because yeah, I, I picked up Dragon Ball Z Kakarot on Switch. Because it also included uh, a Power Awakens DLCs with it. And uh, which nick have we got in here? Oh, it's just one field. This is going to be the e one of the easier Emmy kills if I can pull it off. Literally, what you gotta do, what I gotta do is fake him to come up here. Come on. Come here, you. Come on. Come on, Emmy. Come on, Denaro, let's go. Lure him up here, shoot his face off. again <laughs> Omega, um, Omega Beam got Samus like Kamehameha you're not wrong dude 
Hey everyone, it's Worth Casper. Welcome into Game of Vision. I hope you're enjoying what you are seeing. I hope you're enjoying the content just as much as everybody else here. Like I'm enjoying getting my ass kicked by uh, Chuck Norris. We're gonna call Emmy for the stream. We're gonna call it, uh, the Emmys Chuck Norris. Oh my god, he's outsmart. He's trying to outbox me. No. No. Can I outsmart men today, sir? Sure, no worries. Oh, he took the bait. Damn it, why did I press that for? That was dumb. That, that was, that was, that was bad. It could get worse. Ha, I broke your face. Oh my god, I got too impatient. I mashed it too early. Does this game have a plot line or is it all boss battles? Uh, so basically, Casper, this is a space adventure game. You play as a bounty hunter called Samus. Samus Aaron. He gets into a... to gets a distress call to look into a, uh, a disturbance, of, if you will, on a planet called ZDR. There is definitely a lot of plot. It's, it's a really rich plot, and it's actually a sequel. Dread is the sequel to uh, the fourth Metroid game in the series, Metroid Fusion, which, how many people, how many people would love to see Metroid Fusion get made on the Switch? So if you're curious, uh, Casper, just so, just go to Google and look up Metroid, and you can pretty much find everything you need to know about Metroid as a series, uh, about Samus as a as the like pivotal uh, protagonist, as well as anything you you'll be curious to know. Bounty Hunter investigates why seven robots went missing on a planet where deadly parasite appears. Yes, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Man, I'd be so down if they rem if they remade Metroid Fusion, man. That game would be stellar. Oh, oh. Uh, I'm gonna have to go to him to come up this way. Up from the mega shark, bang! Oh no! I screwed up. <laughs> Rearrange that. There's an Emmy. You get mine, which explains why they're so quiet. <laughs> I never thought of that, Christian. That's that's that is that is a very good point you make there, sir. I love the challenge that this guy has given me, I swear. I'm not screwing up on purpose, just in, just in case anyone want, is wondering. I'm not goofing on purpose.
Can I at least shoot you in the face enough times to break your face so I can actually destroy you, Emmy? twice in a row. How do you like me now, Chuck? Uh-oh. You're trying to outsmart me. That's cute. That's cute. Oh my god, you did outsmart me this time. <laughs> Rush for the past four hours? Wow, Megan, that's intense. I'll get you eventually, uh, I mean, you are a worthy adversary. Bad time to say that, really? <laughs> thing you, you do is cool it's called a uh, flash shift and with one full uh, Eon uh, bar fall I can do it three times uh, flash shift is your best friend when it comes to Emmy encounters it's definitely your best friend when it comes to fighting Emmys This guy is a little too smart for me. That Emmy was punk that Emmy punked me out. When I break his face, I'm literally just gonna have to uh, try and get him on the ground. I know it took a lot of attempts, but that was so worth it, man. <laughs> that was so worth it. Hey Sam, you should you should see when I do speed booster. I'm like Barry Allen, aka the Flash, when I do speed booster. 
GG, thanks, James. Alright, so ice miss missiles are now upgraded with uh, freezing ability. And a Chris! <gasps> Bitches! Let's go, Chris! Welcome to Game of Vision! <laughs> Oh, when I say speed booster, I hear you saying like, oh, he's like, yeah, I just got my speed booster. I got the speed booster. I go really fast because of the speed booster. And, uh, <laughs> thank you for the hundred stars, Chris. I appreciate that, man. I got just the right star screen for you. This is for you, man. Doing good, just playing some MTG with friends. <laughs> with my friends, just wanted to stop by for a little. Yo, good man. The speed booster will help you get to the chopper. Be careful, this bombing deer. <laughs> get to the chopper. Do it now. So now we got ice missiles, man. We can we can definitely go places. We can definitely go go get go to some places. Chosen in this game are like corrupted Jedi Knights. Yes, man. And the fights are so the fights are fun, and as quick paced as the fights, the the fights are really quick paced, and it keeps you on your toes too. I, I like the mini boss fights in this game, man. They they're fast and tense, and they keep you on your toes. So another energy tank to the west. This is going to be useful. This is easily one of the most useful items in this game. Pulse radar. One of the most useful things in this game. So basically, you hold down uh, the right on the D-pad, and I'll find pla uh, either items or uh, breakable uh, platforms. Sweet. Jozo posing like a superhero with a gift. <laughs> yes. Now, here I could do a potential sequence break. I could do a potential sequence break here, here but it will involve me having to store up a shine spark and jump up through here, bomb that block, 
and potentially boost my way up the ramp to get that missile expansion. Which, going that way, can potentially lead me to early gravity suit. Cons considering, I think it would be a good time as any for me to try to to uh, work on my uh, skills of using uh, the speed booster and the shine spark ability. Well, we'll come back to uh, we'll come back to this, but there's other spots I got to check since I've got ice missiles. Oh yeah, we've already been this way. What am I doing? Going backwards. Zachary, how you doing, sir? Thanks for coming in. What's happening, dude? Good to see you. Can't stick around long movie night tonight. What are you watching, dude? What movie are you going to watch? Watching Escape from New York, great movie, man, great flick. Love that movie. <laughs> oh, wow. Now that is like... That rivals Barry Allen. AKA The Flash. Oh, they had comics. Oh, nice. I have Escape from LA on DVD, but I don't have Escape from New York. I'm still trying to find that, man. It's supposed to have a PS2 game, but it fell apart. Damn, that's, that sucks. That would have been a fun game to play as Snake Plissken, dude. That would have been awesome. this down can you no I cannot man you you're not wrong Steve I can't put this down this is addictive flash Barry Allen Wally West kid flash reverse flash I'm referring to uh, more than likely I'm referring to Barry Allen and potentially Wally as well you know legends of tomorrow and the actual flash Early 2000s, Golden Age of DVDs, I miss those days. I was like, Barry who? <laughs> Escape from New York had a special edition DVD back in 2004. I did not know that, Christian. I need to go find that DVD. <laughs> and uh, I'm not ashamed to say this, but I have a huge man crush on Sarah Lance from uh, Legends of Tomorrow. Sarah Lance is my whole pass. Flash 
Flash movie would have Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck as Batman. Oh man, I'm looking forward to that movie so much, dude. I'm a huge DC nerd. I'm looking forward to that movie. That movie sounds incredible. Keaton is the only Batman in Megan's book. The Robin Pattinson Batman will drop tomorrow. Oh, nice, dude. I'm, I'm definitely going to be checking that out for sure, man. I swear most movies between 2002 to 2010 had the best DVD treatment. Actual features, interactive menus, bloopers, deleted scenes, sometimes even games. And nowadays you see that, oh, you, you can see that, all that uh, beautiful stuff on Blu-ray. DC had the good animated stuff, Marvel had the good, good live action stuff. Agreed. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna trash talk Marvel. Marvel's great. Marvel is great, is great as it is. But when it comes down to the debate, I'm just more of a DC guy. It's nothing personal. I just happen to like, I happen to grow up with little major out of the two I grew up more with DC stuff than Marvel Aquaman 2 will have Amber Heard yeah yes very little time as Bruce Wayne outside the suit that's 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 a good way to uh that's a good way to you know that's a good way to do the movie and um, uh, Robert Pattinson spent the majority of his time in the suit. Ah, uh, damn, I screwed it up. This is what I hate. I'm, I have to... I can get it, but I can't... I have to hold the shine spark. I got to shoot upwards. And I can't really jump, per se. I don't... That's... No one will... So no one will watch Aquaman 2. Jason Momoa is a great Aquaman. Blu-ray movies I've seen either get the same generic menu or basic stuff I could make in DVD Maker. That's fair. Oh my god, how am I going to do this? Because if I could do this properly, if I could do this properly without good messing up. That's it, why people won't watch it. There's a little. Why would pitch watch? I'd see a lot of news under this rock. I have no idea. God, is there any way I can store a shine spark or something and go up here and then just, you know, let it roll? I want to try and go up through this ramp. Because if I can print, I think I have to get a shine spark, come up through here, smash through the that is a morph ball, I think. Because if I can get through there early, that's a sequence break to get early uh, gravity suit. That's what I'm trying to figure out. up by giving her a multi-film contract, yep. Amber making false up and sold the claims against Johnny Depp, yeah I know all about that dude.
Amelia Clark will be on the on the set. Yeah, Amelia Clark is hotter than Amber Heard. Changed my mind. I gotta see if I can. Oh, that's alright. Oh my god! I just figured out something cool. Oh my god! That is insane! So if somehow I can shoot this and then more ball spark up there, I might be able to do it. Let's try. Yeah, that's neat. Firm believer in the 11th commandment that fell off the stone but it was presented, thou shalt not get away with it. Heh, <laughs> neat. Pixel perfect to fit to fit that gap. If you saw history of the four part one, you would know that Moses had fifteen amendments at but chop five. Ah, <laughs> oh, press the wrong button. Mel Brooks is a genius. Come on. Oh, no. Now yeah, I'm goofing it. God, man, how close have to be? Man, that is... That shall not get away with it. it is a lost commandment. Oh, come on. Let me duck. And this is so tricky. Damn it. I've got to be, I've got to be quicker with the inputs. multiple inputs with that. I wonder if it's possible for me to do multiple inputs. Is it really... Man, is that side of window? I don't think I can potentially do multiple inputs with that, can I? Alright, this is, that's good, that, that would take a hell of a long time for me to be able to master that. Why am I back here? So easy to get lost in this game. I keep getting myself lost.
that potential sequ sequence break, I'm going to practice. I'll have to watch. I'll have to watch more footage of how that particular boost is done, so I can do it more reliably. Oh, that's this screw attack blocks. You want to make sequel to escape from New York until it did some other project, which is why it took so long between films. Alright. Where am I going? going? This way, going up this way. I'm gonna have to take the track back up. Fifteen year gap between the movies, wow. I'm not even gonna try this, I'm gonna have to... That is definitely something I'm gonna practice off camera. So I don't wanna have you guys watch me try to repeatedly do, do a difficult shy spark move to, to for the sake of getting a uh, sequence break. Oh, no, no, no. Have a good stream. Thanks for 100 stars, Zach. Appreciate that a lot, buddy. Uh, this is going out to you, dude. climb back up. Tell, you, tell Emily I said hello, Zach. Catch you on the next one, dude. No, no, I went the wrong way. God damn it. Went the wrong way. Jesus. Why did that make the missile tank look like something inappropriate? Because I see if they could get away with it. <laughs> yep. I think they did.
Ha oh, ha ha. Found it. Dan! How you doing, man? How's fatherhood treating you? How you been, sir? How's Kitty? Kitty is good. Right on the mark, like usual. It's good to see you in here, man. How's, how's fatherhood treating you, dude? And, uh, how, how's Zoe doing? Glad you finally found your way to, uh, Gamer Vision. Welcome. And speaking of annoying cat, uh, of cats, here comes my cat now. Alright. Where do I go? God damn it, Shine Spark, you were meant to help me. You got one job. if you die. <laughs> Not wrong. Alright, let's see if I can figure this out. If that if they met Kitty would try to nah my cat doesn't my my cat doesn't attack birds. Bubba is two months old. Uh Zoe's trying to get some sleep, that's fair enough. Now nah, you you uh your bird will be safe, uh Steve, because my cat don't attack doesn't attack birds. I think I might have to go another way. Let's take another way. And then, Dan, if you know, if you, if you haven't followed the page, type exclamation point notify in chat, dude. Gaming much, Dan? I know, I know, I know. You probably wouldn't have much time between work and being a dad, but do you, have you gamed much lately? Gamed very much lately, dude. Battle, you've, you've been playing uh, Battlefield 2042. That's nice, man. That's cool. Data. So, are you playing on PS4 still, or did you manage to get a PS5? Conducted ceremonies and rituals here. Now it all lies in ruin. It was likely destroyed in the chaos following the ex's arrival. That would match what Quiet Road said. They have turned it into a comic. I have also detected the presence of an unusually powerful axe. Recall that the Emmy in this area could see through the rain and stuff. 
placed on targets with an electric shock. My sensors indicate this enemy has been reactivated. We can assume that Raven Beak is behind this cube. <laughs> so the Raven Raven Beak act reactivated the enemy. So he's using cheat codes to override the initial uh, ceasefire from yesterday's stream. Oh PC? Okay, cool man. I'm still on uh, P I'm on PS5 and Switch. I do have games on it's like a few games on PC, but that's for uh, modding purposes. Come down here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Man, I love that melee counter. By far one of the... So do you have a switch, Dan? I, I don't know if, you, if, you, if I ask you that or if you have a switch or not. Which style? That's fair. Okay, so I'll put up a I'll put up a poll for everyone to vote on what's gonna be the next game idea, like a whole whole series let's play on. Two games are two I have on Switch and the other three on PS5. Damn it. That's my own fault. I messed up something fierce there. Seriously, where's Michael Myers at? I need his help. <laughs> you should buy a Michael Myers mask and have it in your bag with you. So if people are being being uh, acting like idiots, you can just scare them with the, scare them off with the uh, Michael Myers mask. quicker with those timings. The game I play most that's not Switch is Diablo 2 Resurrected. Yep, I've got I'll be getting that on PS5, Steve.
That's one of the five choices I've given everyone. It's not cross-platform. Yeah, I know, right? If it was cross-platform, we could play together, Steve. Kitty, Kitty is the best cat in the world. Changed my mind. No, funnily enough, for all of you who are in attendance, in case you did, in case a lot of you didn't know, I got Kitty off my friend Dan's mom and dad. My friend Dan's uh, parents gave me my cat. Do you have cat allergies? Do you give my cat all the troubles if you could? Oh, I know you would. God damn it, no, 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 no. Ah, I can't believe. <laughs> you fell for it. You fell for it, you stupid robot. You fell for it again, stupid robot. I think I figured out the timing. I'm gonna make Emmys my bitch! Oh. Wow. Man, that is rough. But I think I've definitely got the parry time down now. I just gotta be more consistent! Oh no, I'm gonna screw this up. Damn it, screw it up again. You're getting anxiety looking at that thing work. <laughs> Same here. It's like he's forcing me to get a COVID vaccination. Consider I'm already vaxxed. Let's 
So Zamus is an anti-vax Karen. Yes, it is. No, no, no. Samus is not the anti-vax carrot. We can't call her Karen, that's insulting. Get away. Well, it's forcing her to be vaxxed and killing her, so she's anti vax Mmm, it's possible. You can interpret that either she's anti vaccination, or if, uh, or you can look at it from the other point of view, where it's like the. You know how you get your extremists that force shit upon the, uh, the regular everyday people? You could look at it that way too. I just have a weird way of looking at some things. Sometimes I look at things in a totally unique way that people don't understand. Sons of X. Obviously we can't get in here. I'm okay with that though. Any progress is good progress for me. Alright, let's have a look. How do we get through this? Oh. Keep pressing the wrong button. Alright, it looks like we officially can't go that way. Good 
God. Guys, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'll be right back. Just need to go to the little boy's room. I see Trinity, and something happens. Hello. I've been waiting for you three. Who are you? Yeah, who are you? I am the architect. But please, call me Larry. Hey, Larry. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> I created The Matrix and several popular video games, including Hubert and Dick Duck. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. I didn't create Frogger, but I came up with the name for it. Can you believe they wanted to call it Highway Crossing Frog? <laughs> that is so lame. I know. It's the lamest thing I've ever heard of. Highway Crossing Frog. Why am I here? Yeah, why are we here? Is there an echo in here? Is, Is there, there an, an echo, echo in here? The MTV Movie Awards are a systemic anomaly inherent to the programming of the Matrix. Although the transport process has altered your consciousness, you irrevocably remain human. Ergo, concordantly, vis-a-vis. -vis. You know what? I have no idea what the hell I'm saying. I just thought it would make me sound cool. You haven't answered my question. I'm feeling a little vulnerable right now, so you just need to chill out. Hmm? Can you do that? I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Now, originally Neo was the chosen one to host the show, but hosting is a full-time commitment, and he's been a little distracted lately. Trinity. See what I'm talking about? That's why I brought in Sean and Justin, because you, my friend, are completely pussy-whipped. Oh! Bullshit. Bullshit. Bullshit! Watch the sass, Captain Sassy Pants. Yeah, you're kind of spazzing out, dude. You haven't answered my question. Yes, I did. You see, what You I... haven't answered my... I'm trying. You just need to let me talk. Why am I here? Oh, would you shut up? You won't let it... No, you won't let it! I'm the one who talks! Okay, mouth shut! Ears open! You haven't answered... You do not want to see me get out of this chair! Ergo, open your yapper one more time, and I'm going to architect a world of pain all over your candy ass! Ergo! Vis a vis! Concordantly! Justin. Yeah. I apologize. I don't usually like to use my big voice. That's all right, dog. Just tell us how we get to the movie awards. There are two doors. The door on your left leads Sissy Boy here back to his bitch. Yeah. Uh huh. What up, G? You can't handle it. The door on your right leads you to the 2003 MTV Movie Awards. And the mini door is for Muffin to go out and piddle. What? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Hey. No. You are bizarre. Thanks, Lair. Don't mention it. Oh, and hey, go host the shit out of that show. Boom. <laughs> if I were you. Bite your tongue. Bite it. I would hope that we don't meet again. Why'd you say that? I told you to shut up. I told you to shut up! Hello. Welcome back, guys. Back from... How, how do you like that as a BRB screen? And uh, Debbie, glad to see you're still here. I'm trying to make my way back to a particular area. I love when I make wrong turns. I kick you in your face. Get off me. Oh, 
Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I can't believe I got caught. Good to see you're still here, Eric. How far have you gotten in the game now, dude? Those Emmy encounters are ruthless, man. <laughs> no, too. It was too quick. Makes me think of the legendary Steve Irwin every time. Really? Getting stabbed in the chest by a Bob <laughs> Rip Steve Irwin. <laughs> That's not cool, man. You're at the Yellow Emmy. Took a break to play other games. Got quite a few on on on, on your computer. Sorry about that. We'll get back to this in a couple of days. Oh, that's cool, man. Discovered some stuff. Yeah. We'll be playing this for the first time until tomorrow. I'll be looking forward to seeing how you approach the game, Steve. It'll be very interesting to see how you approach this. So you and I have similar approaches to playing Metroid. I dare say. So we have two different, completely different playstyles. We kind of approach Metroid the same, in a similar way. At least that's what I think, anyway. But if anything can be said, man, you're going, you're literally learning while you're watching this. That's a terrible way to die. <laughs> I know. He gets worse. Like this guy.
<laughs> this enemy is rough. It's hard to work work out that guy's patterns, man. But I think before I can sit before I try being the enemy again, I might there are some areas that I will have to backtrack to because I swear I've missed some missed a few things. Anything here. Oh, good, we can get back up. Jesus Christ, but come on. And this guy's killing me in record time. God. It's gotta be an easier way to kill this guy. What if I can parry? I wonder if, par if I can parry him when he charges at me. This guy's the worst. see what timing I'll have for a potential parry attack. <sighs> this is rough.
dog. Jesus. It is too hard to bait. I can't bait that move where he just slams into into me. That dude is rough. Oh god damn it. I have a I have I have an idea. I'm gonna try and store up a shine spark and I'm gonna try and hit him with a full shine spark attack. Cause I know I can shine spark into the room. I know I can do that. Damn it. thing was covered in electricity, it's impervious. I'm going to... Obviously, I found my shine spark right here. Yeah, I'm You know, yeah, that, we have, what about a missile when the electric field on it drops? I could try that, Steve. It's a bit tricky to, I find it a bit tricky to aim and shoot while I'm moving so rapidly. But that could work. But since we, since you, we're on the something though, when he's not electrified, that's when I can hit him with charge beam shots as well as missiles. What I'd love to do is try to hit him with Shine Spark. Looks like when the electric field is on, focused on the dodgy stuff. All right. Or use f use fl flash shift while he's electrified. That's that that could potentially be a thing too.
Oh, did I hit him? Did I just hit him with that? Because I actually did manage to hit him with that giant spark. Because that would have done a lot of damage. Plus the gap the gap in the room is tight. You're probably gonna be also using uh flash ship. This is the worst attempt. That's the worst attempt I have <laughs> so far. That attempt was horrible. Ah, oh, you idiot! Any way to avoid that entirely? Damn! I don't think there's a way to avoid any of that entirely. God damn. God damn it, man. Yeah, I'm onto something with uh, flat, Flash Shift, but I have to. I'm definitely thinking on the lines going the Shrine Spark. I just gotta memorize where the actual pixel is so I can do it. Are you kidding me? I hope the fucking door.
Oh, come on! Yeah, if I time it right, yeah. But do you see how fast it's going though? It's moving really quick. Oh god. Yeah, the pat the pattern is super quick, man. I'm still trying to make sense of it because it's going so rapidly. Come on! I'm finding it hard to keep up with this pattern, dude. I'm finding it really hard to keep up with the pattern. But I don't want to be stuck on this boss all day in my own defense. I want to try and do some exploration if I'm if I can because there's other things that I could possibly get. And considering I've got ice pistols, there is potentially more upgrades I can go and pick up in in uh, previously visited areas.
Oh, God damn it. Basically, the sentry units over there, but I want to try and get back to our other areas first. Just drop, 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 go, 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 go. Oh, god damn it. I need to get better at dot. Uh, uh, I need to get better at seeing the. Even with the super fast pattern of that boss, I'm getting it, yeah, but if I try do doing too many attempts of it in a row, it's just gonna frustrate me. So what? Initially, I was looking for parry opportunities, but there wasn't there wasn't any. Mm, I don't. I don't. I'm I'm not sure if the cloaking device would help in this situation. I'm not entirely sure, but anything is worth a try. Clarping device could very well be the strike. Like I've heard of other weird out there strats. things man, I hate these spiders. Sorry you're doing laundry, it's alright Debbie. I don't mind. You, you're doing what you have to do. Don't need to apologize to me, you're, you're pretty much all good here. Those ex-spiders man, they are annoying. Steve, ex-spiders like that, when you get to this point in the game, they're very annoying.
and eventually what I was trying to do earlier, I want to try and... Because I already know how to do the first sequence break for Metroid Dread. I want to know how to do other ones. Enemies look like they need missiles are annoying, I know. Especially if the enemy is faster than you are. Especially if the enemy is faster than me. I'm gonna go back to and explore every nook and cranny that I can possibly explore. Because I got I got the the spin boost and I've got ice missiles. So it may be worth me exploring everything because I might be able to find additional health pickups and missile packs. And besides, this is the first playthrough. We're going to get as much as we possibly can out of this. What are you talking about balloons, Peyron? Sorry you're watching Pennywise. Oh, that's cool, man. I, I, I didn't know, dude. That's alright. Don't mind me, man. Very intense concentration mode. Trying to figure out progression. Alright, we don't need to go here. I want to go back. Welcome in at any rate, buddy. Appreciate you coming in. Ah, uh, uh, that's screw attack blocks. Jesus. That's most bizarre. And screw it, like we don't get to like much later. Beat crate today? You're making progress? Nice, man. That's awesome. I've learned to have another sequence break, but I need to watch more video. I need to study. I, I, I found a comprehensive video on this, on a particular sequence break but I'd have to really sit down and watch it so I can learn how the how the shine I can make the shine spark work for a uh, sequence break to get early gravity suit that's what I'm trying for
So from here, from here. That's a closed access door. Man, I have no idea. I wish there was a way I could. S wish there was a way I could boost the speed of my of the morph ball. Because yeah, there is a potential sequence break right here. You have to go back, make a run. S s April, welcome in. You're welcome. You're. Oh my God, you're at Smack. You're at Smackdown. Holy shit! Thank you for the 85 stars, April. That is awesome. Uh. I'm going to give you one of your favorite screens of all time. Here it is. I just found it. I just found it. Okay. So what do you need? Besides a miracle. Guns. Lots of guns. What do you need? Guns. Lots of guns. And thank you very much for the 85 stars overall, I appreciate that. Welcome to Gamer Vision and thank you for the 15 days of followage. I don't think I can get that sequence break no matter how hard I tried. You're at the final boss already? Wow, dude. You don't muck around. You always know my favorite star screen? Yep. So you got maybe four or five hours left after this. Yeah, give or take. Not <laughs> considering I'm exploring every nook and cranny that I, that I can think of. In the name of finding some pro some solid progression. I'm not a fan of uh, counter gimmicks you have to do in boss fights. Yeah, I'm I'm about 50-50 with you on, on that one, Chris. On one hand, I'm not a fan. On a completely open... On the other hand, on the completely open side, I'm open to the mechanic. In order to end up... Yeah, that's tough. That, that's like... You really gotta watch for the little spark so you can actually hit the button in time but uh those chosen x bosses are kind of fun
Don't think you should have to counter attack in order to end the fight though. Yeah, agreed. I'm not really phased by how long it will take me to finish this game because I'm enjoying I'm getting my full money's worth man and oh wait I forgot to I, I forgot to do this earlier in the stream but I'm gonna I'll, I'll plug it now so for for the top 10 star senders at the end of each month I'm going to try and do a giveaway for the top star senders and the first giveaway will be happening at the end of October and this is what I'm going to be giving away on my first giveaway. Anyone who has a Nintendo Switch, and if you're in the top 10 star centers of the month, you're in the single elimination draw for a copy of Metroid Dread on the Nintendo Switch. I will notify, the, I will notify said when I get their address and ship it to wherever it's got to go. 30 minutes commercial free on uh, SmackDown, wow. That's crazy. Damn it. Pressed it too early. Got a chance to meet and greet with Dominic Mysterio. Nice. Who? Cool. If I better like, do you remember, you remember that time you were a little blonde kid who tried to take Eddie Guerrero off a ladder? been this way there's one thing I'm good at is really running my around myself around in circles man use it maybe we can backtrack this way
Ah, oh, come on. Acceptable to start telling people to F off. Um I have no idea, Megan. I don't know if I can help you with that one. That that's a hard one to answer. You gotta be careful these days, you know, people get real sensitive and shit. People might get real sensitive and cry on your ass. And then you'll be feeling horrible because, you know, you hurt the feelings. celebrating for <laughs> I'm like at the stage right now with people at like go the hell home it's 10 o'clock like, go to bed and sleep yeah <coughs> well, you're not wrong there um Access closed. Charge beam door. Oh, access open. Okay, I'll see. Thinking, have I gone this way? Yes, I think I have. So Chris, if you're still in here, dude, do you think that Nintendo should get get the same studio to make Metroid Fusion, or do like a Metroid Fusion remake on the Switch? Oh, 
damn it. Bring it back, Norris, Dave. Jesus, come on, dude. The good. <laughs> There's always a light at the end of the tunnel. I'm gonna get. I'm only gonna get better at this the more I play it. You know what? I finally made it out of the area I wanted to get out to for the last half an hour, 45 minutes. So easy getting lost in this game, I swear. You're not distracted by the breathtaking visuals, you're just not looking where you're going. At least that's what I think. Complete refill. I love complete refills, man. Complete re refills are good for everybody. Kept going back to the previous planet. <laughs> so that's uh, Shine Spark memes. <sighs> Definitely some exploration I feel that needs to be done here.
both not already just here. I think. Jeez, man. Did I just run around in circles for no good reason? Yeah, I think I did. Freaking way. Here I am doing it again. Been past this area like five times now. I don't know if I want to get man. I have no idea what I'm doing.
damn it. That's my fault. Way to go, way to go, way to go. I have seriously gotten myself lost. One more hour left. Well, he's hoping it's cruisy. For like the past hour or so, I'm like, all right, am I gonna, am I even gonna make pr significant progress today? Let's lock the door. And just say, just say, fuck off. Yeah. Well, you're you're in good company. You're in good company of me getting lost. And Metro at your head. So hopefully that keeps that ties you over for the next hour. Leads to nowhere, thank you. Yeah, 
damn it. Not that anything I'm you know, willing to try and do now. Yes, I side. Back, welcome back, Steve. Looks like I'm forced to try and beat this goddamn boss. Mini boss. God damn it. Too fast even for me to pick up on. It's, this is insane. Come on! Mm. Mm. Yep. 
leaves me with very little room. Leaves me with very little room. Damn it, man. Ah, uh, come on! Homing barbs are the biggest obstacle by far. There's no getting away from it. There's really no getting away from it. It harms, man. Even how long is this game? Seems like it's forever. I don't know. All I can say it's huge. As far as item, item collection goes, I have collected at least thirty percent of the items. If I can get through it quick enough, another five or six hours. But uh, this guy keeps kicking my ass. The rate this going's probably gonna take all year.
I gotta bait that charge move. There's mini bosses, a lot of mini bosses, Megan, and main bosses. No, Steve, I've tried every single variation of Flash Shift, and no matter what I've tried, they still connect, man. I think one thing I'm gonna have to hope for is if I can pick up where he's actually doing the charge, and if I'm quick enough, I might be able to melee counter it. That's one. That's an idea I'm trying to do. Getting bored of this already, eh, Megan? Granted this. Man, that, that's a tight pocket. Oh no! Oh! There is a way I could probably connect, uh, I can probably avoid all of those homing barbs. I have to literally make him try to hit me from the center of, around the center of the room. It, it, it's all about positioning. I think I'm onto something. It's all about positioning. Plus, this is this is this is what I think is crucial. God damn it. Last boss is a pain in the ass. Stop meeting it yet. Wave Beak is freaking insane from what I've seen, Chris.
Haha! <laughs> gotcha! Storm missiles, baby! Yeah, I know, right, Chris? That, that boss was... That boss was... The boss I just, I just beat is insane. You stopped here? That's alright, dude. Yeah, that, bo th that boss was very intense, dude. It's just a case of me piecing each fight together and trying to put... <laughs> and try... And hoping for the best. Uh, thanks, Steve, for the 100 stars. I appreciate that, man. You'll... You'll get... You're gonna get a uh, one-cycle fan tune for your trouble. This is for you, man. <laughs> Cheers, Steve. I appreciate it, man. Now I've got storm missiles. Now we can open some of those pesky doors. Missile doors are cool. <laughs> Reed, welcome in, dude. Thank you for the 10 days of follow which How you going, dude? Haven't seen you for ages, man. Welcome to Gamer Vision. I don't care that it took me like over an hour to beat that boss, man. That boss was tough. I have to go here, you're very tired, need some much needed rest. You're, you're all good, uh, Debbie, I appreciate you hanging out for as long as you did. You have a good one. Yeah, see you real soon. I'll either see you in the BT tag stream, or I'll probably see you tomorrow sometime. You've been really sick like the last 10 weeks. I'm sorry to hear that, man. I'm doing good, man. The three month break did me a lot of good. Did the world a good, actually. And by far, this is definitely in the top five, my top five game of the year. One of my top five games of this year, man. If you haven't had the pleasure of playing this read, you should definitely give this pick this game up and give it a go.
I'm glad Banner is real and it sucks, I know, right? That's why I'm like only gonna be doing a lot of schedule from here on out. Gonna be doing a wider schedule because I work pretty much work near full time now. So, like Thursdays, if I feel up to it, I do like an extra stream which I will tag. I tag as Game Revision DLC, and my usual streams are Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, ten till about. I've well, been on for about three and a half hours, so about. Oh, I've been on a bit earlier than that actually. I came on an hour or so earlier today. So. Usually I'm on from like 10 to about 2, maybe 2.30. Oh no, I'm good, I'm, I'm good from big time. Oh! Uh oh! Man, it's hard dealing with two of these guys. Try and separate them. Oh god. You don't have a switch, but I've seen Busby play it till about ten hours in. The boss battles are amazing, I know, right? Chozo Warriors it connects the stories that Samus suit is Chozo Tech. Yeah, and also there's uh Steve, in case you didn't know, there are two different Chozo groups. There's the scientists, there's the scientist group and the warrior group. This is so packed full of lore, man. You are literally when you play when you play through to get to the story and get to the point where I'm up to, you are gonna be like What? some stuff early in your playthrough. Yeah, I, admittedly so, I got, um, I managed to get Grapple Beam, Flash Shift, and Morph Ball Bombs, courtesy of, of a sequence break before Creed. There is another sequence break that I'm keen to practice and keen to try and get down, Pat. It involves me using a Shine Spark to shine up and to the right of a where a missile upgrade is in this area which will jet me into another part of the area where if I keep going down and to the right and what I can get early I could potentially get early gravity suit yep that boss kill was so gratifying man that boss annoyed me to no end like how many attempts I've lost count It's going to be hard to step up and fight two at once. Ah, god damn. That'd be cool, yeah. The crate sequence break I can do. The early gravity suit one, I can't quite do. I need to really examine some video footage and make notes on how 
that particular shine spark can be done in but the confusing part of it is that particular shine spark has to be done in more form Oh, no, no, no. Oh. 15 minutes to go. Wow. What did I miss? That boss turned you into low pang from big trouble in Lord China. It really pissed you off to no end. <laughs> yes, it did. It was I was trying not to show it so much, but... This game definitely knows how to trigger the human emotions. And sometimes I have to like, really stop, think and concentrate. It's hard splitting both of them up. The save is close, yeah. There, there's like sort, there's small checkpoints when you get to towards uh, mini bosses, which is, which I think is a good quality of, of life enhancement. It's kind of like this, it's sort of the same as Samus Returns on the 3DS. I'm trying to focus, I'm, in regards to taking one out first, um, it would be hard to focus on just one because both are moving just as quick. Yeah, I think I may have to try and use uh, Storm Missile. Storm Missile would definitely help. I should, I should actually have taken some time to learn how to use Storm Missiles properly. Because that's probably what's doing me in. Once charge yellow laser sight, blah blah blah. To five targets. I need to really teach myself how to use uh, the. Here we go. Hold it down and just let it charge.
Man, it is hard. It is hard trying to get uh, separate them. It is. <coughs> 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 They like to try to make you use new stuff when possible. Especially if it's brand new, yeah. It's gonna be hard to keep those... It's, I'm trying to separate them, man, and they both move unbelievably quick. It's ridiculous how fast... how fast they move. Man, those those two are really, really fast, man. Break force past them either. Some twins are. <laughs> I think I am damaging them, Steve. Awesome twins are a pain. All right, we're officially dubbing the, these two uh, Chozo robots the Awesome Twins. But we're calling them the Awesome Twins. It's hard to tell if I'm damaging them or not because they're moving super fast, and I'm just trying to navigate around the room. Yeah, I you saw I had a loop. I had sort of had a loop going. Yeah, if I can try and get a particular loop, and I, if I can get in rhythm and state in a particular loop, like I've done with other Chozo robot bosses that I've done previously, I should be able to finish it. I should be able to do the fight with minimal trouble. But the R it, it's a lot of it's RNG based. Said that they did not get any bits after four hours. <laughs> 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 
Steve, when you get to this bit, you better also call them the Olsen Twins. That's that's pretty much going to be the Gamer Vision name for the uh, for that particular split. God, come on. <laughs> awesome twins are scamming me, man. I'm getting scammed by the awesome twins. <laughs> I absolutely don't with the last amount of last like 10 attempts. I feel like a real idiot. It wasn't so much RNG uh, screwing me up, it was about the fact that I wasn't us using the skill properly. I wasn't using the storm missiles as they were intended. So at the end of the day, that was my own fault. But now I sort of got down on how to use them now. Yep, I know how to use them. I know how to use them now. Are there any upgrades you get first before this fight? Uh, someone's got sent in because the agent doesn't want to deal with them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Steve, if, it, if anyone else calls those two, calls the twin fight, uh, Olsen twins, we're gonna sue them because that's our that's our name. Gotcha. Yeah, it got, we've got good now. Yeah. Um, well, basically the other up, the other upgrades. The it's like every time you get an upgrade, you, you you get put in a mini boss situation where you gotta learn how to use it. Like for example, got uh, a phantom cloak. I had a boss fight immediately after that to learn how to use it properly. Plus, I have to use it to uh, hide away from enemies. Pulse radar helps me find stuff. Speed booster helps out a fair bit for, to do shine sparks. And uh, there's multiple bombs. Gra grapple beam I got early from <laughs> doing a sequence break. I don't think there was. A, it would have been a case if there was anything I could get first. It was just a case that I should have took. I should have taken a little more time and consideration to learn the mechanic. It's in a roundabout way, it's my own fault. Yeah, they suck. They're, they're relentless killing machines, if I read. 
You literally get put through your paces and you literally have to move quick. And as you learn the strats to move to outmaneuver the enemies, they will have counter strats to uh, get by you to get by you in the sense of they can they, they pretty much act they pretty much act accordingly. Like, how would I describe it? It's like they have they have uh, intelligence. Oh crap. I'm hoping I don't have to kill the kill the Olsen twins again because that would just be annoying. But then again I know how to do it now so I'm not gonna sweat it so much. Oh good, I don't have to worry about the Olsen twins anymore. Sweet. Yeah, definitely well programmed. They're intuitive and they even uh, come up with on the fly countermeasure strats. The big, the big takeaway from it is, you can't rinse and repeat. You can't always rely on rinse and repeat to get through a situation on this game. That's what I like about it. And also, like in other Metroid, other older Metroid titles, you could literally brute force your way through segments of the game, but in Metroid Dread, you really cannot brute force your way through. There's only limited situations that you can brute force your way around. Now, for those of you who are not sure what I mean by the term brute force, in gaming, if you literally just bull rush through an area or a segment, I consider it brute forcing. And, and I just got space jump. Oh my god. Oh my god, Steve, look at this. Look at the fluidity fluidity of the space jump. Holy shit. And funnily enough, I watched a... There was, there's, an, uh, I, there's a fellow Aussie streamer on YouTube who actually skips... I watched him do his uh, personal best speed run on this. He, did, he does a sub par 135. And he skips space jump. Man, that just feels... That just feels amazing. Now imagine if this was ever... If I ever did this as a randomizer, the first time... It would be like the same rule as the SMZ3 randomizer. If I get... If I had... If I got space jump within the first lot of upgrades, I would literally break the game. Like, if I got space jump, uh, flash shift, and super, and, uh, storm missiles, I'd pretty much break the game. That's if I had them from the get-go. That's if, if it ever happens, if I ever decide to make this, never decide to look into maybe playing a randomized version of this in the future. If they do it, of course. If the speedrunning community, or whoever does the randos do it. Considering I'm going to be doing more Super Metroid 2. I still have tons of uh, Super Metroid runs in the tank. 100% runs, any percent runs. As a general rule of thumb, I'm not, e I'm not even phased in the slightest of being. I really don't care for speedrunning. I just like to enjoy myself and get a and be immer and be immersed in the game.
It'd be difficult to make a randomized from. Yes, indeed. But it would be nuts if if, if it did happen. It would it would be it would be extreme, man. I'm also looking forward to the possibility of, I think, Metroid Fusion could be getting a remake for Switch. Now that would be cool. Seeing Samus fight the SAX in HD, in glorious HD. That would, that would be a masterpiece. It's a big ask, yeah, yeah. But with how they incorporated the X and the Dread, I'll, um, considering Metroid Dread was actually planned, orig the original plan for Metroid Dread back over a decade ago was they were going to put it on the uh, Nintendo DS system as a, as a sequel to, to, because it's a sequel to Fusion. I was, I was actually amazed because I, I looked up looked up the history of Metroid Dread and it was actually planned to be released on the on the uh, Nintendo DS. I'm like wow, man. SAX equals pure anxiety. Yep. But. I don't want to give away too much uh, spoilery stuff in regards to the story, but you can pretty much make your own. You can make your own opinion of uh, you know Samus getting the Metroid DNA injected into her infusion in this game, since you're fighting a lot of Chozo enemies. Speculated that. And with the Emmys that you Emmys are used to harvest DNA. Now, Metroid and DNA exists in Samus because of fusion, uh, the story of fusion. Obviously, Samus taps into that power and learns how to use it. She would be the pe most powerful Metroid in existence. New engines is running on world will make it hard yet. Or even if someone like made a ROM hack of like Super Metroid to something like this, like a ROM hack, they did a super, they did like make say they made a ROM hack of Super Metroid to be like Metroid Dread, and then people would make a randomizer from that. But you know, still big ass and still relatively new. But uh. I foresee me playing more Super Metroid randomizers and uh, met, uh, potentially Metroid Fusion randomizers. So I've got a, I've got my ways of finding the Super, the uh, Metroid Fusion randomizers. Uh, and I'm rambling. Oh, that would be interesting. Interesting, yeah. And here's something else I noticed, I don't, I hope I don't spoil, spoil anything by saying this Steve, but in my opinion, Plasma Beam got given out earlier in this game, opposed to say Super Metroid and Metroid Prime. Not sure about Samus Returns because I think I've only got play through half the game. Now, so because I can space jump.
crap. Let's just destroy this guy. There we go. There we go. Open the one. Thank you. Okay, what did that do? Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! That's an ingenious way to... That's an ingenious place to hide an elevator. Sorry, I didn't catch that. It's all good, man. It's alright. Well, basically what I said was... In regards to uh, Samus having Metro DNA injected into her... In Metro Fusion to... Uh, <clears throat> cure herself of being attacked by the X. Technically speaking, she tapped. She, you could, if she tapped into her latent Metroid power, she would be considered the most powerful Metroid in existence. And she would be considered a Metroid just because of the energy uh, siphoning abilities, and plus her Chozo suit. Put that all together, that makes her the most powerful Metroid in existence. Now imagine, basically, the, the uh, antagonist Wavebeak in the story. He's like from the uh, Warrior Chozo tribe. He is looking to, he, hack, he hacks the Emmys. He is hack the Emmys to treat Samus as a hostile. So, he could extract Samus' DNA and literally clone her, because she'll be considered a Metroid. And he could use, if he, if he was able to do that, he would use Samus' Metroid clones to rule the galaxy. Considering Metroids were invented by the Galactic Federation. And the Chozo. The X Parasite was also invented, in, also implemented by Chozo in the Galactic Federation. And there are two, there are two clans of the Chozos. There's the Scientists, and then there's the Warrior Group. I think the Warrior Group is the Morkins, and I think it's the, I forgot the name of the uh, Scientist ones, but. It's easier to remember the name of the, of the warrior ones because it's just, I think I've seen that word thrown in, 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 in amongst the story a bit more than the other name. And with everything I've, I've pretty much uh, rambled on about in regards to this game of Metroid Fusion, the X Parasites and the Chozos and whatnot. Metroid Prime 4. Some of this, some of the premise from Metroid Fusion, Samus Returns and Metroid Dread could all show up in Metroid Prime 4. At least, at least that's what I think. Considering we don't really know anything about the story of Metroid 5 Prime 4. Space jump. And I think I also referenced that, uh, in my experience, this is the earliest, earliest, uh, my, uh <clears throat> earliest. 
time gets uh, that I've gotten uh, fuzz of him in any Metroid game. I think the last progressive beam you get, I think, is wave beam. The exploration possibilities seem to be endless. It's crazy, man. Like, this is the second or third game of 2021 that I've been flat out addicted to. This game and two roguelikes. Of what I've been flat out addicted to. It's a combination of Cadence of Hyrule, Returnal on PS5, and now Metro Dread. Not only that, I also have uh, Axiom Verge 1 and 2 on my uh, Switch Lite as well. Those games are great. to use it as a platform.
Oh, damn it. I need to be quicker. Energy pot, sweet. That's another energy tank. Yay! It's more help. God, did I just run myself around in a circle? Yes, I did. I think I did. Go back to go, go back here.
Seems up to go over this one. Game complete, man. That last boss sucks. <laughs> Congrats, man. Better ten and a half hours to finish it. That's just your first run through, though, Chris. Have, is that your first run through, or have you run for? If that's your first run through, if you run through it again, knowing with knowing what you know, you may be able to get a slightly better time. Your first run through, yeah. Usually, in a rule of any game that I, in my experience, usually you, your first run would take would be the longest that you would take to finish a game. Always the first runs are the, are the longest. But still, 13 and a half hours is still respectful, considering this is this game's only new. It only came out recently. It's a respectable time, in my opinion. I could be wrong. Could be talking out my ass, but you know, I'm just I'm showing my opinion of what I think. And I'll, I'll be level with you. This is my fifth. This is my fifth stream of Metroid Dread. Longer than thirteen and a half hours of hell. I don't care. I'm enjoying every second of it. As I've gotten older, I've just you know learned not to take things so seriously.
Huh, wow, that was cool. So, Chris, what was your favorite boss, man? Curious, what was your favorite boss of uh, Metroid Dread? Fight cutscenes are really amazing in this game. I definitely agree with that man, 110%. Like I've said to other people on subsequent streams that I've already done, this, to me, this is the Metroid game that we need, that we needed. Fights, cutscenes are oh, really amazing, I know. Yeah. 110%, dude. 110%. I paid for this it's definitely gonna make it's definitely gonna get solid replay value Considering I pre-ordered a copy of this and the OLED and got it in the same day, I went and paid for another copy of Metro Dread to do as a giveaway at the end of October. Try hard mode? Wow. You gotta let me know. <laughs> let me know how hard mode is, Chris. I want, I, I want your opinion on how hard it is on hard mode. Because I'll be tempted to try hard mode as well. Be really honest though, it's a good entry, but. All the ones before it are better in your in your opinion. That's fair enough, Ben. Well, it is a real solid entry, considering we spent like from the time Fusion came out to this year, 2002 to 2021, we waited 19 years for a credible sequel. Be 
cool if you could you know, co-op it. Co-oping Metroid would be fun. Yeah. Sounds like a fun con con on concept on paper, but I'm not sure. I think I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I personally don't know how co-op play would be implemented in a game like this. Super Fusion and Zero are all great entries. I even liked Other Room. Other Room was good, man. Other Room had a really good concept. Other Room had a really good concept for going for it, man. But due to it was, it, I think it was just it, the story. Would, the story was adequate, but I think it was implemented poorly because of the because of the technology they were using. Grab your suit. Shared items can team up. Shared items can team up for boss battles or explore separately. Be interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah, that sounds cool, man. That would be cool. Kind of what? Kind of did with the blue brains you fought. Main complaint is the counter gimmick and the boss fights. It, it, that's pretty much the only complaint. You really excited to see Kraid? You're hoping for Mother Brain to return. Not going to rule out possible Super Metroid HD remake, maybe? Or, but, you know, Metroid Prime 4 is uncharted territory, man. It's uncharted territory. They could pull anything from the Metroid Prime sec section of the series. Or pull something from Metroid Fusion, or pull something out of Super Metroid, or pull something out of this. Like, this game now released, and the whole speculation for Metroid Prime 4. There are so many avenues, there are so many avenues that they can head down in regards to the story. All you want is a Prime trilogy. I never finished 2 and 3. The only one I never finished, Chris, was 3. Because I had Metroid Prime and Metroid Prime 2 on the GameCube. I played some of 3, but I never... I, I played 3, but I never got around to finishing it. Ha 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 Man, I love that Shine Spark, dude. That shine spark is amazing. Alright, screw up that box, got it. I had the trilogy for the Wii. I this may be an unpopular opinion. You have to bear to catch you later. I'll be streaming this tomorrow night. No worries, uh, Steve. You have a good one, man. Thanks for the 200 stars, dude. Appreciate your support, buddy. And uh, this is going. This unique screen is it going out to you, man. Upon getting gravity suit, is the story progression making everything frozen? I cannot say for certain if the X are to blame, but the drop in temperature is indisputable. The gravity suit should keep you insulated from the effect of low temperatures. Even so, beware the unexpected and proceed with caution. I'll play for a little bit longer. And I'll, I'll play for another half hour we all call it the stream
feels good to not be hindered by water physics. It's gonna feel even better running around in the lava. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I didn't like this may make this may be an unpopular opinion, but I hated the Wii motion controls, man. In my opinion, Metroid Prime should be played with a controller, not the Wii Remote. Hell, other M should be played with a controller. That's just my opinion. It might be an unpopular opinion, but that's my opinion and I'm sticking to it. I guess it's going to be heavily speculated that Screw Attack is going to be my next upgrade. So Chris, uh, what overall percentage did you get from item collection uh, for your first playthrough? Damn it, screwed up. Oh, you missed a question? Um, man, I gotta think back. Well, <clears throat> what was your overall item completion for your first playthrough? Yeah, bomb I managed to bombard it with the missiles and I got managed to break his shield. I think I was just a little bit too slow on the update. Fifty-one percent. That's not bad, man. Fifty-one percent is not bad for the first playthrough.
drop a skin. Down you go. I have determined the reason for the planet's rapid cooling. Thermal energy is no longer being routed from Cataris. This area, Arteria, is located in the depths of the planet. Much of it will be frozen. Find a way to thaw any frozen doors and pools you encounter. The central control system you activated in Cataris is still operational. Some force must be physically blocking the routing of thermal energy. I suspect the power flex is involved. You must annihilate it. Uh -huh. Return here after solving the problem. The cooling has prevented you from exploring this area. There must be a vital ability hidden somewhere here. Yeah, called screw attack.
So I'm gonna send it here in the stream. <clears throat> so, for all the people who came in, thank you for hanging out today. We definitely made some good progress on uh, Metroid Zero, uh, Metroid Dread. Um, for those of you who have, who have missed it, um, the video will be on on the channel page on Facebook for the next four weeks or I don't know, I think four four to ten weeks or something like that. If you don't have Facebook and you want to catch me on YouTube, I'll give you a link to the VOD playlist. You can, if you want to watch on uh, YouTube, you can watch all the streams I've done so far on Gamer Vision on YouTube. Take the kids to the park, they've been really good today. That's good, Sam. And hope they have fun. And I had fun with you guys. Thank you all for coming in and liking and sharing and commenting and being engaging. For the people sent stars in the chat today, thank you very much. Every single star is equally important and goes towards making more great content on this channel and uh i'm gonna see who's online so i can see, see if i can raid anybody are my usual picks online right now there's no one online None of my usual, none of my friends are live right now, so I'm just gonna end the stream here. And uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll be back on tomorrow around the same time as I am on usually. And we're gonna continue Metro Dread tomorrow, so thank you guys for sticking around, watch me run around in circles, etc. <laughs> etc. Et I had fun, hope you guys had fun. I'll catch you all tomorrow. And just remember, it's good to care about others, but it's also imperative that you care about yourself. And, uh, you know, be good to every, be good to each other and look out for each other. We live in, we, we live in a crazy, crazy world. So, uh, till tomorrow. So, Nash is out of here.